What is up YouTubers? Derek here from DW Designs and welcome back to the channel and the vlog. So, a lot has happened since the last video. I apologize guys, I have not uploaded anything. Um, I kind of just got lazy, um, I'll admit that, and didn't feel like filming and editing and all that fun stuff. Today is a beautiful, cool day today. Clouds are out and uh, hopefully it's not going to be too hot. So, with that, let's head to the intro. And I'll see you in a second. Alright, so Monday, I was not here. I was out somewhere. Some of you know what I was doing and some of you don't. But what I will do is I will tell you, I'll give you a hint. I was at the dino place in San Diego. Yeah, this is, this is for something special. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that video um, later on because like I said before, this is kind of top secret right now until we get all the numbers and everything figured out. But Tuesday, we went ahead and started fabricating these panels here. Got the driver's side and the passenger side made and we went ahead and made a new skid plate for the front because of the fact that the original one that I made before was damaged from when uh, he full sent it, which is completely okay with me. That's awesome actually. I'm, I'm glad to see somebody out there actually beating it up and seeing what my work is capable of handling. And there's the other side if you guys were curious about it. I did not weld on the shackles yet or anything like that. They are made. They're ready to go on. I just haven't put them on yet. I'm kind of waiting to get everything finalized with that. So today we're going to be um, working on the rear bumper a bit and the computer system. Last week I found out um, after I finally imported the back scan of the rear bumper that it's too narrow, the bumper that I made in Bentec. It's way too narrow. It needs to be a little bit wider. The shape is correct and everything like that. It's just too narrow. So all I gotta do is make it wider and it should fit just perfectly. So all I gotta do is fix that and then we can go ahead and start making the rear bumper, which will be very exciting if I'm being honest because I'm ready to get started on actually cutting tube and start making this thing. Um, it's kind of been a daunting thing to me the last week because of making sure that it's going to be perfect because of the fact that the rear bumper is kind of rounded instead of nice boxy square and i had kind of the same problem on the front bumper too if i'm being honest you know it's not easy so that pretty much includes the update of what everything's going on by the way the guy's still happy with his bronco um haven't heard from him um I know my buddies talked to him and he's very happy and pleased with the Bronco. So that's good. Glad to hear that. And then the other thing we did too is uh, update. As far as the update goes was uh, Monday when I got back from the dyno, I installed a, uh, a uh, exhaust cutout for automation where you flip the switch and it opens up and it's like wide pipe. like wide open like no muffler or anything and that thing sounds amazing it sounds like a freaking trophy truck going down the road that only took us a couple hours but yeah it was it was good it was good so um but stay tuned for those videos guys i'll be posting them but it'll be in the future so all right i keep repeating myself and uh nobody wants to hear me repeat myself over and over we are in the shop i am in the downstairs section 
and we're going to go ahead and take this part of the rear bumper that we cut off and we're going to set it on the floor here and we're going to measure from here over to there to get that measurement so that way I can re-enter that into Bentec and get the proper measurement so that way we can start making this thing. I want to make this thing so bad, people. I, it's just, have you ever got, have you guys ever gotten stuck on a project and go, man, how, how am I going to make that? Or, or like you want it to come out so perfect that you just stress over every little detail. Well, that's me right now. That's, that's me. Um, every little detail matters right now. And it's, 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 um, it's haunting me. <laughs> I don't know if I should be saying that on YouTube or not, but oh, it's haunting me. Um, so we're going to, we're going to get it done though. We, we will get it done because, uh, that's what we do here. So here we grab a tape measure, get this thing measured and head right into the office. I'm not going to bore you guys with this because I know a lot of you guys click off my channel like when the videos get too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the process and show you guys the fitment after it's all done. And then we'll start making the bumper hopefully today or tomorrow. Mm, cross your fingers. So we'll get it done. Alrighty guys. So the daunting part is done and over with to my knowledge. Bumper lines up very nicely. I am super stoked. I am ready to start bending this up. However, though, tomorrow is going to be the exciting day. And the reason why I say tomorrow is because tomorrow is the day we're going to start bending this up. Today, I have a few other things, errands that I got to run. I'm not going to take you guys with me, unfortunately, um, because I know it'll bore you guys. So with that, I'm going to end this episode right here. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.